Hey friends, uh, for this video I'm going to talk about different tints for sunglasses that people should be paying attention to. Uh, tints are, I think is something that a lot of uh, people who are buying don't really pay attention to. They're more worried about the cosmetics, the fit, which are definitely important, but from a vision standpoint, uh, tints can definitely really enhance it uh, or even hinder it really. So the one I have right currently in this War Green uh, Sunwear is a gray tint, super standard, everyone's seen it. Uh, gray is the best for people who are really light sensitive, meaning that when they go outside the sun feels really intense on their eyes. And so I like the gray ones for those type of clients. Um, gray is also nice because it doesn't skew your color vision at all and it's very neutral. Uh, the other one I'm going to show here is a brown tinted one. This one's uh, an eyewear from Moscow, New York. Just really timeless design, I love it. Uh, so the brown tint is, is my preferred color actually. Uh, I like brown because it's it's nice when you're wearing it because it can be used for daytime and even during those darker times when it's a little bit overcast or cloudy, so when you're driving. Um, so grays you'll find it's a little bit more challenging to see during those times, so you'll tend not to take them off. Whereas with brown, you're able to still see quite clearly and navigate through it. Uh, the only downside with brown tints is that it can skew your color vision a little bit. And for any of my clients who are um, color vision deficient, uh, especially if they're red green color vision deficient, the brown will skew those, uh, judging those colors even more. Uh, the last one I want to explain about is the um, is the green one. So this one's a little bit harder to see in this frame, but I'm going to lean in so you can kind of see it a little closer. Um, this one's also from Moscow, New York, and the, the green tints are really nice for people who are very active uh, because it's lighter. You can it's almost as if you're not wearing sungla uh, sunglasses per se, uh, and also because it kind of it, it blends with the colors of the sky and of the grass. Uh, so people who are avid golfers who like to go fishing a lot, uh, this is usually the type of tint I'll actually recommend for them so that they can still see clearly what they need to see through the water with the grass and the greens and the fairway uh, and putt for putting. Uh, the only downside with green tints is that they're lighter and so people who are finding themselves a little bit more light sensitive, I, I don't recommend the green tint. Um, the other ones that you can consider are also rose and pink. Um, those can look really nice with some nice eyewear, especially the uh, clear acetates one. Uh, but yeah, the rose and, and uh, pink uh, tints are very light, so you know, they're not going to give you much of that tint in, from the sun, uh, from the brightness of the lights. Uh, but the nice thing is that when you go inside and outside, it's very, very multifunctional for that reason. And the last one's a gradient tint. So, so it's not showing in my eyewear here, but gradient tints are those that um, get darker from above and go down to a clearer section. And uh, so that's great for people who are in and outside a lot. So couriers, um, anyone who works uh, in the yard house or shipping who have to go outside in a lot. Um, it's great because now you have the sun protection from above uh, and also the tinting effect, but then when you're inside looking below on paperwork and your cell phone, it's, it's not as tinted so you can see clearer. So that's my little sh uh, quick little tip on tints. Uh, stay tuned for other series on the sunglasses to help you buy the right one. And then uh, please share this uh, with anyone that you think would be helpful.